Oh, here we are again. Hi, Dan. Hi, I'm Steve. Uh, Steve Shali. Mm -hmm. Steve Nyo Nyo Shali. And I'm Dan Sergal, Daniel Nyohaku Sergal. And we're going to look at another group of antique Japanese flutes, which incorporate the character of sound that uh, Japanese makers were looking for. And so there's an interesting value in a flute that's 100 years old. Uh, it comes from another time. And it can't be replicated. The techniques, say secrets, uh, just the general feel and also the personality of the maker. And so they become sort of legendary in the little shakuhachi world. So those flutes are sought after by certain people who respond to that sound. There is the occasional flute that uh, is a beautiful flute and the maker doesn't bother to sign it. I, my guess is that they probably want to play it themselves. There's stamps that I don't read because I don't read kanji, but if you look them up or ask somebody uh, who can read kanji, they might be able to track down the maker. It really then becomes about the flute itself, if you really like the way that flute sounds, how it reaches you. So uh, here's the first one. Um, we've got like 50, 60 flutes in the room right now, and this is one of my favorites. So I just biased everybody. Okay. But this is a 1.9 shakuhachi. It's a little bit longer. It's excellent for meditative work, but um, it's easy to play like a 1-8. If you're used to playing a 1-8 and you want to go for a richer sound, um, of course, the longer, the richer it goes, but then your fingers start to spread out. So if you have small hands and you want a deeper sound, then the 1-9 might be the perfect size for you. But here we go. I have a lot of nice flutes, but that's the only reason why I'm not going to get this guy. But what do you think? Let's see. Oh, nice, nice. Oh, okay. Um, great, great dynamics, subtle subtlety, dynamics, um, purity of sound, comfort of play. What do you think about this root end? It's if you look it's at it from this view, pretty. it's she yeah, have look at this side roots. Oh, that's interesting. So this side is smoothed, and this side is like <laughs> rough. I didn't see that. It's weird, isn't it? Yeah, and it's got a nice curve. Yeah. And it's got that honey color. It's different. It's sort of a warmish color, like a rosy color mm -hmm. um, that you get from the 1920s. This is obviously 100 years old. So because we have a lot of flutes from the 1920s, um, it seems to be a golden era. It's, it doesn't have the extra large bore. I feel roughness in here. Oh. Maybe that adds some of the character of sound. Mm. Really a, a beauty. So uh, anyways, good. Yeah. I, I know it's a hard sell, <laughs> <laughs> but I, I'm being honest at least. Uh, so um, now here. And that's a one nine, and this that's is that's a one nine. nine. Yeah, this is a one nine as well. Yeah. And so, uh, but the weight—it's almost like this one is is heavier. The thinner one is heavier. Well, they're, they're pretty equal, but this does feel a little bit more more solid wood. So it's you know it, it's uh, going to have a more projecting sound. Give it a try. Let's see. I felt it was friendly. Hmm. I don't know, I just had a certain kind of like intimacy I felt when we were here to play it. Okay. This is the key to her, right? So. 
And look at the colors. Isn't that nice? Really nice. I mean, bamboos, always, they're always one of a kind, but, you know, if you see one, then you go, wow, this is one of those. This is a, this flute doesn't have kind of the depth that I enjoy in that flute. Um, it's a harder sound. It feels like a harder sound to me than this than this flute. This is a beauty to me. Um, just briefly. <laughs> deeper sense inside me with this flute than I can with this flute. I feel it. I feel like, wow, it's just bigger. I just right. and caught deeper. up into the sound emotionally a lot more. Well, it's a higher quality and, you know, more expensive flute, but, mm -hmm. you know, that's what these videos are about. I mean, check the eBay, uh, see if they're still for sale, or check the comments here. I'll, I'll mark them off as they sell, but, man. Yeah. Nice. One nines are nice to have. Yeah. So, uh, let's get back to the normal territory of the one eights. Uh, here's one here. Uh, sorry to say, I cannot read this, Franco. Mm -hmm. So, um, I just approach it as a flute. Look at this. Beautiful the hole is... Model, modeled. And look at this hole is going in at an angle. Isn't that interesting? Oh, look at that. I wonder if there's a, a secret to that. Mm -hmm. oh, very pretty flute. Uh, no bindings, no cracks, perfect condition. I have to come out with my embouchure more, my chest out more, my jaw out more to get my sound for this flute than I did out of the other flutes. But once I do, it's fine. And it's very full. It's bright. It's like... It's brighter. It's yeah. punchy and but bright. It's 1.8 and those are 1.9. Yeah, yeah. Cool. This one's heavy. This one's heavy. It's, it's about 500 grams. Sure is. And it's got the steel joint that probably adds a little bit there. And it's big. It's right. big. It's solid. Watch me give it a shot. Nice. Oh, nice. You're, I feel you connecting to this yeah, one here. Yeah, well. Let's see if I have that same connection.
fully grown up big boy shakuhachi, yeah. big girl shakuhachi. Yeah, <laughs> indeed. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, this is a good monster to have. Like if you the like, sankyoku, you're playing with the other instruments, and you mm. you know, or, or it's for accurate or honkyoku too. Or for honkyoku, I saw it. Yeah, I think you like it better for the honkyoku than I do. Okay. I like a woollier sound, but this is clean, beautifully made flute. Really nice. Yeah. Um, yeah, and keep in mind that it's a little heavier. So uh, if you were doing long hours of practice, uh, I'd definitely use another flute. But mm -hmm. on the other hand, if you were playing with ensemble and you wanted to be heard, mm -hmm. but, but, uh, but so if you had this flute, you mm -hmm. would use it as a meditation flute. I'd use it as both. And use it as both, okay. Both. It's nice, very, nice. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay. Adaptable yeah. flute. Hmm. You seem to fall in with this guy right away. Yeah, I like it. Interesting. Okay. Uh, now, speaking of meditation, I don't know how much of this Chakrahachi world you're familiar with, but we have these longer flutes here, like this one here, 2.1. So that's an unusual size, um, but once you are playing solo, it really doesn't matter. It's really all about how you feel inside when you play it. It's an old flute. I don't know the age, and his hunko is on the back. It's got nice bindings, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven bindings uh, with flush urushi, so it's, it's very elegant. playing smooth, full, lush. for joining us. Take a look at these flutes, see which ones are still for sale. Let me know what you feel about these. Okay, thanks for listening. <laughs>